Andy, one of the things that you do really well is incorporate a high level of theological engagement. Could you tell me more about the role of theology in youth ministry specifically? Yeah, I mean, I think it's something that I've been pushing for, and you're very kind to say I do it well. Um, I'm trying to do it, and, and I'm trying to do it in a way that um, is rich and deep, I hope, but also is, um, a, is also accessible, um, is also something that youth workers can um, hold on to. And the reason for that is because it really it really was theology for me that helped me in my own ministry, that my own experience in ministry um, was working with some kids who were really in a rough situation, in a difficult neighborhood situation, and they stumbled upon this church and started going to this church, and it became my job to kind of bridge the gap between these neighborhood kids and this classic youth ministry going on in the basement of the church, and a number of different conflicts um, arose from that. And I kind of stumbled into youth ministry and even into my seminary education thinking the most important thing is cultural studies, is psychology, things like that, that that will be the most relevant to my youth ministry. But I was shocked as I spent time within this church and we're working with these kids in really difficult situations and working with this church that was trying and yet kind of conflicted with how to reach out to these kids, that I was amazed at how much theology was helpful, actually. I mean, big theological questions like, whose church really is this? The people who put money in the offering plate or the people who whose bungalow or apartment is literally overlooking it. You know, who is it the kids in the neighborhood or the kids whose parents drive them in that this church belongs to? And then it really pushed me to what I think is really the most interesting questions. And I really think youth ministry, and one of the reasons I'm com utterly committed to youth ministry is because I think it's this zone, actually, this location, this, this culturally constructed location of these people we call teenagers, um, that there's ways that they become an incredible location to think about human action for sure, how human beings act, what makes human beings distinct, but even more profoundly, and this is kind of what I'm trying to push within the youth ministry world, is how to think about divine action. Who is God? Where does God show up? And there's something interesting within the broader landscape of ministry that we get so kind of pulled into institutional institutional maintenance, or we get so kind of stuck in ruts of ministry practice that it's amazing how little pastors think about or reflect on their understanding of how God acts or where, where does divine action actually occur. And there's something really freeing about youth ministry because of maybe the cultural location of these young people where there's a more of a freedom or there's more of a direct push to think about who is this God and how does this God act. And I tend to think this is the most exciting thing about doing youth ministry in general is that you get to actually think about with these particular people, reflect upon with them of who is this God and how does this God act. And so I think there's something really exciting that we do in youth ministry, that we are asking big questions about these human beings, these particular human beings, who are these human beings? But at the same time, asking big questions about who is this God and how does this God act? And for me, I know that there's a lot of youth workers probably watching this who feel like, you know, I could use a raise. Like, I could use a 10% raise, and I get that. Couldn't we all in some sense? But you also have an incredible gift that you get to spend your life working with these young people and asking these big questions like, who is this God and how does this God act? And for me, that's why theology is so significant because I think this is an incredibly formative question for us to try to articulate for ourselves, where is it that God encounters us? Where is it that God shows up? Um, and then to construct our youth ministries around how we answer that question. And there are multiple ways to answer it. There's multiple ways theological traditions have tried to answer it. In my own work, I'm trying to answer that in a certain way. Where does God show up? And I'm trying to say within relationships, where relationships of human beings that share in each other's need is where God shows up and try to make a case for that. But clearly that's not the only way to articulate that. But what I really want to push youth workers to do is to front that question, where is God? Where does God show up? And then to construct their youth ministry around how they would answer that. You know, the practices you do, if you're in a tradition where God shows up in the sacraments, in taking the Eucharist, then maybe you should think about how a U Eucharistic living or how the practice of the Eucharist even falls into ministry within youth ministry, how it frames youth ministry. Um, so that's really why I see theology as important, not because I somehow want to make the uh, youth ministry more academically credible, but because I actually want to make an argument that reflection on young people, that thinking deeply about how God acts and moves with young people is um, formative towards ministry itself and may, have a, may impact theological discourse 
general, in general. I think that it connects theology and ministry very close together, and I particularly have a bias that that's where theology has done its be at its best, that it's done as reflection upon ministry because it's directly in ministry that we encounter the presence of God. And that's, I mean, that's my theological bias, that God shows up, that God encounters us. So I'm pushing as deeply theological, but I have this very kind of deep understanding of God showing up, that God actually encountering us. And that's, I think, what theology is, is reflecting on that encounter um, of the presence of God.